Hi, Pete here, and welcome to another tutorial for Divi Machine. In this series, we've been going through creating a car listing website. However, Divi Machine is not just limited to, car, to cars. You can create any kind of custom post you want. So team members, uh, houses, testimonials, documentation, anything like that. In this video, we're going to be focusing on the single uh, pages. So in the previous video, you may have seen we've done the search. I'm just going to do this very quick. Then on the search, you can either click through straight to the single page. At the moment, uh, it's nothing much. I haven't really done anything to it. Okay, so head over to the th uh, Divi theme builder. In here, add a new template. Oh, actually, I've already, well, add a new template and then go down to all cars. I've already added one uh, in the past video because I was showing you how to use the advanced custom field item module. Um, so let's just let's just remove this all so it's blank. Okay, so I'm going to start off and I'm going to add a just a half a column. In the first one, I'm going to be showing you the gallery module. So the gallery module is a is a really cool module that uh, allows you to add either a gallery like like Divi has or a slider gallery. So the way this works is the first option is you can choose the kind of layout that you want. In this part, I want to have a slider. I want to have a rotating slider with some thumbnails underneath. So here I'm going to choose slider. In the advanced custom field gallery top, so here you can either choose gallery fields with image fields inside. This is if, a, if you're using the free version of advanced custom field. If you haven't watched the video that where I, where I speak about advanced custom fields and actually creating this free gallery, please uh, the, there'll be a link in the description. Please check out that video first. Make sure that you follow. In actual fact, make sure you follow this whole whole tutorial in sequence so you can, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you have the pro version of advanced custom field, you can actually use this one as well. For the purpose of the tutorial, I'm using the free version, so. Let's choose that one. Advanced custom field group name. So here I'm going to be choosing my group name, which is gallery. Let's just go over to um, the custom fields, cars. I'm just going to show this to you. Here we have gallery, and it's a group item, a uh, group type. And then there I have this image one, image two, image three. Again, watch the other video. I'm not going to explain it again. So here I have this. Uh, Hang on now. So I have this slider, I've chosen gallery, and the image name is image. Okay, so group and image. Now it's picked up all these images. Let's use the featured image for the first one, and then all the rest of the ones it's also pulled in by the images. You can actually also not include the featured image if you want, but I want to use it. So slider settings, horizontal slider, or I can have a single slider. I want to have a horizontal slider. So the single slider, the reason why I've shown five there is because I have slides to show. I can do one, and then it would make it better. But at the moment, I want to have slides to show, let's say, four. Oh, 42. <laughs> let's do three, actually, because they're a bit bigger. Slides to scroll. So this is how many slides you want to scroll at one time. You can actually make this three if you want. I want to have it just as one. Infinite scrolling is quite cool because it will make it look like there's infinite amount of uh, photos. So I want to do that one. Enable now, en enable arrows, yes. Enable dots, yes. Scroll speed, uh, you can choose the scroll speed. So yeah, that's fine. Center mode, that pushes the image that's 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 pre previewed in the center. Variable width, this is if your images are variable width, mine are fine. Adaptive height, these is if your images are different in height, it will adapt auto automatically. Autoplay, yes. Um, you can have the images to fade. Uh, same height slides, yes. Slide gap, I'm just going to do five. Okay, so those are the kind of settings you can play around with to get the slider how you want. Let's just save this. And let's go over to our LDA5 
post and just have a little look. So here you can see the image is sliding nicely there and you can actually click it and you can open it up like that and see some more. So that's a really nice nice way to show the images. You can also customize the design, the arrows, you can add custom arrows and custom color for the arrows and same for the dots, you can add custom you know, dots, you add it red, let's just add red, stay with our theme. In this section I'm going to add a title, I'm going to add post title, h1 tag, I'm just going to title text, make it solid, make it quite large I think. 48, huge. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is I want to have a price. So here I want to be using my advanced custom field item. In here, I want to choose price. I don't want to show the label. Um, specific settings, leave that alone. Image icon, so here we go. I want to add my own image. Uh, in the previous video, I had this terrible um, I had this terrible icon over here, but in I just downloaded some uh, new one that I want to use, which is this over here. Upload this image so you can see how it looks. Pretty large one on the left, so I can actually change the size. So let's say I want to be 20 pixels. City. And the design of the text, you know, I want the image, I want the, the price text to be a bit larger. The one thing I want to do is I want to have pretty for my text, I want to do that, and I want to have prefix as pound because I'm in the UK. So let's just save this. Okay, so there's a bit of an irregular. Uh, irregularity which is showing the label um, this is something that I think I'll, is a little, uh, a little bug that I'll fix uh, it won't take long to fix that but you can see how it's showing I can also you know adjust the line height of this you know text so it pushes it down a bit there you go that looks nice so I have the the image and the and the price nasty over there okay so there's other things I could possibly to do here um, I'm just gonna actually go on and edit the car and I'm gonna add some tags so let's say the tag I want to add is uh, new add tag and update this uh, I will show you that actually in a separate video because that's going to be using the meta module so let's just carry on, uh, let's just leave this section over here and let's go and add another section, another row, make that a full width row. In here I'm going to be adding this module called post content. Okay, so what, what's this just displays whatever in this section over here. Okay, so you can see it display nicely. Now you may say that Divi allows you to do, use this using uh, dynamic content and you may ask what's the point in having this module. Well this is where it gets quite interesting how you can actually start to use Divi Builder even further on, on these templates. So you want to have a you want to have one template really for all your cars in an ideal or your, all, your, all your custom posts in an ideal situation. But let's say you want to use a Divi Builder and you know customize the content per custom post so for my example per car you can you can do that by using the Divi Builder on this page over here so how do you do that well you head over to the theme options Divi theme options builder and then enable it on the cars okay so when you enable on the cars you have this new button over here here if you enable the Divi Builder now you can start to actually use a Divi Builder. Um, no, we don't want to do that. We want to actually edit it on here. So here I can start to edit it. Now I can say, actually, I want to have an image. This, I want to have, you know, I don't know, this image over here. 
and then I want to have some text over here. Text. Actually, I think, I think if I use the visual build on here, it pulls in some dummy text for me, which I'm going to use. <laughs> okay, so let's save that. And let's go through to our single page, and you will see how it pulls that in in this section over here. Now you may you may say, look, there's some weird spacing over here. If you inspect the page, it'll tell you exactly where the spacing is coming from. And I can see over here the section has that green space above and the bottom, so it has green space padding top and bottom, and the row by default with Divi is set to a width of eighty percent. So you can see it's not full width over there. So where does this come from? Well, this is actually on this page over here. So on the actual Audi A5 page I'm editing, I need to make sure that I'm going to set the spacing on top and bottom to zero. And the row, I'm going to make this uh, custom width, or I want to make this 100% and max width. I'm just going to do 100% as well. Update that, and then it'll pull, it'll push that to be full width. Okay, so that's a neat little trick just to show you how you can start, you know, really making your your single pages unique and bespoke. So you use the theme builder for your main template, and then if you want to push it further, you can actually pull in the content module and use a Divi builder on the actual settings page of that particular custom post, if that makes sense. So the other modules we'll, we'll get into soon. Uh, let's just show you another gallery module. So, so uh, just, just so you're aware that um, when you use a Divi Builder in the, in the post content module, we don't support uh, the visual builder for that so you'll just get like we don't support the visual builder with the content so just ignore that but it still works as you can see it still pulls in but at the moment it, it, we haven't added compatibility for that so I prefer this one so let's just duplicate that okay and let's add another module let's add another gallery module and in here I want to have it as a grid Okay, I want to have images inside, which is or group with image fields inside. In here, my advanced custom field is called gallery, and image is the group name. Okay, so here we can, and then in the grid settings, we can choose uh, show title and caption. So the title and caption is defined by in the media library. So if you go in the media library, you can edit the in here I can say okay the title is this and the caption is this so that's where you can edit this but I don't want to show that you can have a grid of four two and one on mobile so let's save this and we can see there's another gallery as well that's another way you can show galleries you have the slider and then you have that kind of a gallery as well. And you can customize, you know, the overlay and the, the, the width and all that. Uh, then, so we have the gallery, order bar done. Carousel, I'm going to do in the future. Post meta, I'm going to do in the future one. Post slider, future one. So here, again, with the repeater module, we could possibly add some nice repeater modules over here. So, repeater and advanced custom field so here the first one's going to be doors i can say doors show label no okay image i want to upload an image over here uh where, where's my sorry you may see my family over there <laughs> um so let me, let me just upload some images over here my different ones so here we go I have a nice little door here and the max width I'm going to do is uh, 30 pixels ok 
Okay, uh, and then the one thing I was going to say was in the specific settings. Okay, it's fine. So, yeah, okay, so doors. Okay, so now if I just go like that and I can add another, I'm going to add three, I think. So I'm going to add a doors. I'm going to add. Uh, what else was I going to add here? Mileage. Pretty for my text because the mileage will be, you know, have a comma. In the image, I'm just going to add, I don't know, that. <laughs> uh, looks beautiful uh, and then the third the third one I'm gonna do I'm gonna have it as fill top and in here I'm gonna choose fill top and in actual fact I'm gonna have a fourth one and then here I'm gonna have gearbox and the image is going to be a gearbox Okay, so in the, <clears throat> there's four, excuse me, there's four items. So in the grid column, I'm going to have four. On tablet, I'm going to have four. And maybe on mobile, I'm going to push it to a two column. I'm actually going to pull this down just above in here, above my content. So it runs along like that. Let's save this and take a look at how it looks. And as you can see, they now appear in a nice four column row uh, four, eight, four, col yeah, four column row with the icon and the value and you can add the label you can add the, a prefix so let's say for example uh, you know or yeah so let's say you have a price one for example you can add you know the pound or the dollar symbol in here and you can you know you can you can add four eight twelve sixteen uh, values you can make it really interesting so you can have a lot of information with really informative imagery uh, so it's a really nice way to display the content so I think I'm just going to end it there and if you want more specific uh, like information on each mo each module please seek out the individual module uh, documentation or video and uh, that should go, you know, if you're just looking for a specific module and what, how you can apply it to the single page. Now you know how to use the single page templates. You can apply any module that, that is relevant for the single page. Uh, and, and away you go. So, uh, yeah, I hope you have a great day. And I hope this has been informative. And if you have any questions, please get in touch. And we'd love to hear from you guys on how, you, how the plugin's been helping you and what you've been building with it. So... Get in touch, show us what you've been doing, and yeah, we'll, and we'd love to see it. Speak soon and have a great day.